Okay, everybody. Today, I received a very weird message claiming to be from Microsoft Corporation saying that, as you can see here, your account has reached an upgrading stage. That means uh, I need to verify my Microsoft account in order to receive and continue to receive their services, including conversations, attachments, contacts, sending emails, receiving emails, and etc. I quickly, I quickly identified and detected that this email is a phishing email attack. I'm going to show you today how to detect those or such emails when it gets to your inbox. So basically here, as you can see, the first thing is you have to see the context and the language of the email. And here, the first mistake that I have identified is, as you can see here, as part of our effort to improve our experience across our consumer services, we are updating the Microsoft Services Agreement and the Microsoft Privacy Statement. Here goes the mistake. You will no longer, you will no longer have access to many of these features, okay? And for improved conversations contacts and attachments i mean what the fuck i mean if uh, for improved conversation and contacts i'm gonna no longer have access to, to those services i mean that's nonsense and bullshit the, the 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 correct sentence is you will have access to many of these features for improved conversation and contacts and i quickly realized that the senders are not in native English speakers uh, and this is the first lead that uh, from which I realized that this email is fake and phishing email now suppose that the senders are native English speakers how can you detect that this email is trying to harvest your credentials and get access to your account so basically I go to my email here let me close this okay I go to my email here at, at the hotmail.com website outlook live and I clicked on view message source okay here I wanted to identify the centers the IP address of the center but it 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 seems that as you can see here the sender IP address is 4092 etc okay and it tells you that this IP address is associated with account security.com which is the account which is the domain from which the message has been sent okay so this account has been this domain has been registered by the adversaries or the perpetrators in order to send emails and if you go back to our message here and clicking on this you will see the, the the email address from which the message has been sent is not correctly the email address that would be the email address of Microsoft account or cooperation I mean it doesn't end with like hotmail uh, doesn't end with Microsoft cooperation uh, domain real domain name it's like it's a, it's very clear and apparent that this email is an email that has been made by someone else okay now going back to this is the second lead that led me to say that this email is fake and phishing email let me go back here okay and here you see that the IP address is this IP address I quickly go, went to IP address lookup and looked up the IP the, the IP address of this domain and found out that it's Microsoft Corporation. And no, not don't be confused that this has shown you that the IP address is a Microsoft Corporation, uh, but actually because the email has been sent from Outlook, from the Outlook software. Okay. Now here the the thing is the the uh, domain holder or the domain owner has set up. The domain to work with Outlook okay I mean the regular Outlook software and from this he has or she has or they have sent the email to my inbox that's why 
the, the, the Microsoft here or the original message here is telling you that the source IP address is Microsoft Cooperation, not because the sender is Microsoft Cooperation, but because the message has been sent by the Outlook software. And when, whenever a message is being sent by an Outlook software, I mean, it's not always apparent in the message source, the real IP address, okay? So that's second. And if I go to the page, if I clicked on verify my account and go to the page that claims to be from Microsoft, you can see here that the page is 90% 90% matches the page which is which belongs to Microsoft login page okay but here you can see that the domain name is different it's very different from the, the uh, domain name of Microsoft cooperation and as you can see the original domain name is like something uh, Russia it's like it ends with RU, it means that this domain name comes from Russia. I try to open the domain name of this page and saw this directory index. Okay, I clicked on start here and I have been directed to a web page that, you, as you will see here, you're gonna see a page. I quickly uh, realized that, as you can see, it's like I, I don't I don't know Russian, unfortunately. But it seems that this uh, regular, I mean, ordinary corporation or company that um, deals with cars, trucks, stuff. I don't know mechanics, mechanical. I don't know. It's like okay. And I realized that this phishing campaign is. It's like uh, being used and uh, it's de it's deployed and the perpetrator is deploying this phishing campaign and sending the emails to the victims using a domain name that's probably and 80% from my opinion is compromised because here the domain name I mean it, it, it belongs to something that's very different from I mean, it's not possible for this domain name to be like domain names of perpetrators. Okay, so here's like, I figured out that this domain name is piggybacked by the attackers to send emails. And so they their identity is not figured out by analysts. Okay. So those are the three things that you can focus on or see whenever you receive an email and you suspicious that email is from someone uh, who's trying to steal or harvest your credentials first you see the email address here if it matches the email address of the claimant or the or the, of the entity that the uh, sender is claiming to be and this is the first second you see the language and if you a third here you will see the domain name of the page if this domain name matches the page which the attacker or which the sender claims to be who he is or who she is or who they are then you quickly click on and sign in okay and if not then you will ignore the email okay and report the domain name to be like abuse or something else okay thank you for watching